Living with a decent and contented wife When the soldiers came and broke up my life Living with a decent and contented wife When the soldiers came and broke up my life Cause every Sunday she gonna ream up Eating grove and four girls with a soldier When she leaving, she tell me darling Kiss me on my cheek, I will be back in the morning Before the landing of the Yankees, anything I did, my wife was never displeased. But now if I play fresh and talk hard, you can imagine how the woman does get on bad. Ah, if I strike her, she ball for murder, then threaten me, both the judge and my lawyer. She said, invader, have some behavior before I send you for a time at Carrera. Started to give me jokes, saying how the soldier hitting me strokes. They told me I'm a stupid young fella, and my wife minding a Yankee soldier. Well, I got so mad, I went to Arima, met her at the hotel drinking with the soldier. She said, Invader, this is me, mister, I have to love him, he can romance me better. <laughs> <sighs> when I saw what was my wife's intention, I decided to change up my mind and plan. So I started to plead most impressively. I told her, honey, would you make back with me? I told her, I do do darling. You should remember that we promised to love one another. She said, Invader, do me a favor. Try and get a girlfriend and leave me with me, soldier. As you can see, I can't sing and I can't play these various little instruments I fool around with very well, but I hope you get a laugh out of it and so it's fun. Well here is a little background to that calypso. During World War Two, American troops were sent to protect Trinidad, which at the time was a British uh, crown colony. And this song, Soldiers Came and Broke Up My Life, was composed by Lord Invader and sung by him in 1944, where it became, uh, or when it became, a hit. It was one of the many lyrical complaints about the wartime presence of the Yankees in Trinidad at that time. Incidentally, Lord Invader was also the composer of that song, Rum and Coca-Cola. You remember that one? Rum and Coca-Cola. Da, 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 da. It was re that song, Rum and Coca Cola, was recorded by the Andrews Sisters in 1945, and it spent 10 weeks at the top of Billboard's U.S. pop singles chart. Yes, Inveda, of course, um, uh, composed a lot of popular songs, popular calypses uh, at the time. Anyhow, um,
it was Mark Twain who said the human race has a really effective weapon and that is laughter let us laugh laugh and the whole world laughs with you snore and you snore alone thanks for watching tell your friends check out my website from time to time I put up new stuff just go to YouTube and in the search write Beijing Pipe Piper and you'll be up to date Blessed be.